Hey, I'm Alec, and today I'm going to show you how to use Matter Control to design your own hex tile. Matter Hackers has been doing some redecorating in our office and started the hex tile project, which you can read more about in the description along with watching the video that goes along with it. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I used Matter Control to make the design apps for the hex tiles by creating a brand new one. And so this is going to give you an idea of how to use Matter Control, even if you've never done any 3D modeling before. But if in the end you feel like that's still just a little too much effort for you, I'll show you how the design apps work for these as well. So to start off, you're going to take in a cylinder, and I'm going to change the diameter to, well, to start with changing the size to 6. That way we have a hexagonal prism, change the diameter to 150, because that'll make it 150 millimeters tip to tip. And the height's 2, that's the base, it doesn't really matter what size, but we want to be sure that we rotate it 30 degrees so that the point is at the base, and that when I'm modeling, I make sure to keep everything oriented in that direction. And now I want to add a border onto it. So I'll use a ring and do basically the same thing by changing the outer diameter to 150. And then from here I can change the sides and I can do three, I can do six to keep it consistent. And height, again, doesn't matter, so I'll just do two. And for the inner diameter, let's try 145, which is a little thin, so I think I'll try 140. That looks pretty good. And again, rotate it 30 degrees to keep everything lined up. Now, from here, I could take it and try and line it up as best as I could and hope that it lines up. Or I can select the base, the outline, and go to Align and center it on X, center on Y, and bring it to the base of Z. Then I can go into Advanced and add an offset to Z of 2, which will lift the ring up 2. And we know the base is 2 millimeters, so that's why we did it there. Otherwise, I could do 4, I could do a bunch of different numbers and raise and lower that as I need. So now that I have my base, I want to be able to add something on top of it. So I'm going to find an image. In this case, I'll just use the Matter Hackers logo. And I can bring that in and immediately be able to use this to model by just going to Image to Path. And it detects that it's a silhouette because it's black and white. And if I zoom in, you can even see there's a red outline showing what it's going to trace. So from here, we're going to want a linear extrude. But you can see that the edges are kind of choppy. So we can go back to Image to Path and add in a smooth path. So now that we have smooth path, you can see that the edges are kind of rounded around the M, which maybe you don't want. So you can mess with the iterations, or I'm going to mess with the smooth distance a little bit. There we go. Got the edges nice and crisp. So we'll keep this. And I'm going to change the height. It's a little too thick for my taste, so I'm going to go with just two millimeters. And from here, I can go into the same menu and add a base. And then I have a couple different options, like do I want a circle, or a rectangle, or an outline. And with outline, there's a couple more settings you can play with, like infill amount, trying to fill in those gaps, and base size, like how far out it's coming from the outline, and of course extrusion height for how tall I want this. Now I can go into a line again, and we'll do center on X, center on Y, and the bottom of Z. And then I can go into advanced because I don't want it right in the center. And I'll try to bring it back on the Y. Let's try 20. A little too much, so I'll try 15, which looks pretty good to me. Now that I have that, I have this empty space where I'm going to throw in some text. Now with the text, you can just go in here and you can change it to say basically whatever you want. It'll just stay as one line across, so it won't like make a paragraph out of it. But rather than changing the point size or the height, I'm going to click Fit to Bounds. And here I'm going to change the width to 100. And let's change the depth to, let's try 25. So from here, what this will do, well, I'll get to that in a minute. First, I'm going to line these up. Center on X again, center on Y, bring it to the bottom of Z, go into Advanced, and change the offset of Y. Negative 20 is not enough, maybe negative 30. And that looks pretty good. Now with Fit to Bounds, I can go back and check where that red box is. And I can see that it's kind of overlapping with the outer ring. So I'm gonna change that to 20, still a little close, and make it 15. But what that will let me do is to go into text and change that to just my name, and it will automatically shape it so that it fits within the bounds of that box. So like when I do my first name, it's as, as tall as the letters could be. Or if I change it to my full name, it will be as wide as it could be. So it won't go outside of that boundary. 
So that will allow you to just go in here, change the text to whatever you want really easily. So I can go back in here, change it back to Matter Hackers, and it'll take up the same space as it did before. And then you can change the font. There's things like Lobster, Titan, there's Titulum, or Righteous. Righteous is pretty cool, but there you go. That's, that's how I made some of the original design apps. And I can even go back in here, change the circle if I wanted to, and change the uh, image if I wanted to later. So that's a pretty good baseline. And I'm gonna save it to my library, to the cloud library, and just call it Hextile. There we go. So now I can take this, print this at home, at work, wherever I am, it's tied to my account. But if I didn't want to go through all that, I could use the design apps. And from here, I could use the mosaic tile folder and everybody will have this within their Matter Control accounts. And here I have a lot of different bases that you can use to work with to create your own models. So this blank one just has the base and the ring. This one has a hexagonal background where you can change the image or change the text and just have like a really interesting background there. Or you have the original where it's just the logo and the text, which you can of course change the logo to something different, change the text. This one, you can just change the text to say something different. We've had a couple of in the office like uh, chill fill or uh, gill fill, just adding fish or things like that to it. And this one's just kind of neat because you can come in here and change it to say like maybe your family name and list your family members and have that hanging on the wall here. And then if we go, Back to this one, you can even go in here, change the image, find one. Let's see what I got on my desktop. Um, so we got this flower. I'll throw that in here, go to the text, and let's change it to flower power. Yeah, ER. And there we go. That's how you can make a hex tile. This is how we've made a ton of different ones in the office really quickly. And everybody's pretty enthusiastic about it. We have a lot of people making their first 3D prints and models using the design apps here. And there we go. Now you know how to use some of the basic design tools within Matic Control to do some pretty introductory 3D modeling. And even still, if you don't feel like using that, you also know how to use the design apps, change a couple inputs, and be able to make some pretty baseline hex tiles that you can display on our wall. Now, hopefully with this video, this has given you some ideas on how to use Matter Control in some other ways and make some more complex and intricate hex tiles or make something completely different altogether. In either case, I'd love to see some pictures of what you're able to create, whether they're just a screenshot, a picture of the thing you've already made, be sure to tweet it at Matter Hackers or even tweet it at me and I'd love to see what you were able to come up with. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.